So welcome back everybody. We had such a good day out here trolling for grouper the other day. We're back to try it one more time. Luckily mother nature gave us the weather window that we needed to get out here. It's the middle of the week. We're gonna troll in about 25 to 30 foot of water with some man stretch 25s. I forgot to mention that in the last video. That worked so well the other day we left grouper biting and it made us sick to our stomach so we have been itching to get back out here. So we're gonna put some of these lures out, do a little trolling. Hopefully they're biting again. All right, so we're trolling along about four and a half mile an hour. That seems to be the tickets for these lures. And most importantly, what we're watching is the tips of those rods. We want to see them bouncing up and down. That lets us know that the lure's fluttering, digging, that it hasn't caught on any grass, because sometimes you'll see these bump the bottom. And I kind of try to bump the bottom a little too. That lets me know I'm right down there where these grouper are. And we're fishing over live bottom right now with grass on it. See that one right there? Just bump the bottom. This one's bumping right now, so it looks like we got our depth just about right. Uh oh, there it is. Got one. Uh oh. All right, slow it down a little. There we go. Oh no. I think you might got me hung up. Uh. Oh, he's on top and he's huge. Julian is huge. That rod looks like it might be about to be getting bit. Wow, it pulled him up quick. There, oh, something's going on that rod. It might be me. Is this a fish or what do I have? He's not fighting at all. This is a fish, he's big. It pulled him up mighty quick. What do we have? It's not even fighting. Yeah. Let me try. What is this? Did you get him it's a grouper, but he's sideways. That's why he was fighting so weird and come up so quick. And no, he ain't huge like I was hoping. You got one on or are you hung up? You got one on, don't you? All right, okay. All right, so we didn't even make it over the ledge, y'all, and we already got one, so that's great. They're biting. But the reason he felt so big, he's foul hooked. Uh, all right. Well, didn't even make it over. Had a grouper. That's a good sign. There it is, there it is. That's a fish. Dripping grass. Feel something? Oh, we got grass again. Come on, baby, where you at? Uh-oh, he come to life that time, didn't he? All right, good. Might be a little more size than him. He's not wanting to come up. Oh, well, hang on, son. That's a, that's a, that's a good one. Oh, oh, okay. Get away from the ladder. That'll cut the line. That looks like a gaffer. Baby. I only caught just a small glimpse of it, but it looked legal. Oh, yes, sir. He was nice and legal. Look, he's got a lot of life in him. Oh, I do a horrible job. 
Oh, I do a horrible job of gaffing. Julian, hold that joker up. Let me get a shot of him. Nice oh, fish, son. Wow, that's shocking. When you first caught that joker, we didn't think he Man, was. I thought it was small. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. That's a 30 inch grouper out here trolling with these little old plugs. Yes, sir. Give me five on that one. That is, dude, that's probably your biggest grouper ever, ain't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's get the hook out. All right, we just went over two something, two big things on the bottom. I don't know if the lures are going to get over. They look like two big fish laying on the bottom. Oh, all right, we just went over the ledge. There it is. All right, we just went over the ledge. There it is. Oh, 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 son, that thing got slammed. Is it a fish or are we hung on the ledge? Get him up before he gets in that ledge. Is it coming to you or is it hung? I think it's coming. I think that's a fish. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, buddy. Yeah. Son, that thing got slammed. Oh, yeah. It's All right. I'm excited. This should be legal. And I just said, here comes the ledge. We drove right over on the bottom machine and got slammed. Oh, this looks like it's got a little weight to it. <laughs> Come on, baby. Oh, yes, sir. I think this one's going to measure, too. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Okay, not as big as I thought, but... <gasps> That's what I get for trying to, I like to hook him in the mouth and not waste meat, but we got him regardless. Man, I'm horrible at gaffing. Oh my goodness. Give me, hang on. I don't trust this gaff. It ain't poked through. Julian, you got you another monster. <laughs> Let me get this gaff out of the way before it gets right. one of us. We ain't got to measure this one either, but we're going to just to figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. That's to make a few group of sandwiches, Morty. Yeah. Look at that bad boy. He ain't too far from another. I'm going to say 28. 27, 28. Let's see. They don't like closing this mouth. 28 on the dot. Yes, sir. 31 and the 28. Look at here. We just started trolling this new spot too. Oh my goodness. We got too much ass in there. <laughs> Let's go ahead and put salt water on that. Yeah, we're going over a big ledge right now. Oh, get it, get it. Holy crap, holy. I'll finish really yep. Oh my goodness, son. There's some weight here. I'm gonna let you finish. Oh my goodness. Yeah. They're about to get hung up, I'm afraid. They're on the left side of me now. Oh my god. Oh. Whoo. Son, there's some weight to this guy right here. Look, he's stripping drag. That's all right. Um, yeah, just keep going. Yep. Oh my Oh my gosh. Oh. That was a monster. That was a stinking monster. That thing just stripped so much drag. Oh my goodness. Well, there goes a $20 lure. <laughs> Ouch. I had a fish fight like that in a long time. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, look at here. Look at this. Guys. <clears throat> God. 
<laughs> These fish are on. Need a backup, no, you good. Uh, this dang sure ain't pulling like that last one, but I think he's gonna be legal. Uh oh, now he's giving up. Please don't be little. Ah, uh, it's getting light now. Yeah, he little. I don't... Yeah, he's probably about 20 inches or so. Good little fight for that guy. Another year or so, he'll be legal. Look at that. Oh, that one hook's barely in. You can get him right out. Yeah, I'd say 20 inches. Thanks, little man. Thanks for the fight. And right on cue, here comes our dolphin, black normal. Big boy. Oh, look at there, another one. Man, these dolphins are huge. on the show for us. Yeah, they're swimming upside down just playing. <laughs> so believe it or not, I literally cannot troll and fish because these dolphins will not leave us alone. I've been cutting circles, driving off, driving fast, driving slow, trying to get the dolphins to leave me alone. They won't leave me alone. I can't put rods out the back with them swimming around everywhere. Plus they'll shut a fishing spot down. I think I lost them. I think I lost them. Yeah, I oh crap. Nope, no idea. Yeah, that's always been a dynamite color, but I have been here in the last couple years and experiencing myself. Oh, oh shoot, the green's the way to go. Oh, golly. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Holy moly. Just put it in neutral. Oh my goodness. This joker. Oh, this joker got some fight in him, son. This is gonna be a gaffer right here. Come on, baby. Mm. Just get off the bottom, baby. Get off the bottom. We're out here in the middle of nowhere. We're way past the ledge, too. I'm glad we decided to leave that in. Go spin around. All right, it's getting lighter now. Please, please be legal. I think it is. This is so much fun. I gotta get this undershirt off. I'm burning the hook up. Oh. Yep, 
You were just saying they like the red and white, right? <laughs> no old green goes off. Oh, his goker ain't wanting to give up right here. Please be a big one, otherwise I'm gonna look like a sissy with all this panting. All right, he's going that way now. How come I still ain't seen him? There he is. There he is. Oh yeah, he's illegal all day long. Julie, I don't care where you gaff him, wherever you're comfortable. As long as we just get him in the boat. Oh, baby. Yes, sir. Get him in the boat. So oh, look at that. We got us another 28 to 30. Oh, this is so good. So fun. Yes, sir. I'm loving it. Oh yeah, he's gonna come out easy too. Hang on, I wanna get him with my fish grippers. I can measure him. All right, you can have the gaff back. Got it. Yep, there's the lure. Get out of the way. Bucket. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, baby. I love this stuff. I love this stuff. Oh my goodness, all the times we have fought and went home empty handed. And we come out here slaying them right now. Oh my goodness. 31. We got two 31s. <laughs> oh. oh yeah. I'm loving this man. Check this out. Gonna have us fish box full. That bad boy barely goes in there with just four fish. Yeah, we're both like, please. He'll work his way down in the water. Oh, yeah. Now this is absolutely amazing. Practically can't hear anything. It has gotten almost slick as glass. And here's the crazy thing. The weatherman said it was supposed to get up to two to three foot seas this afternoon. Wind was supposed to pick up and it's supposed to get rough. And it's done nothing but calm down and turn into an absolutely gorgeous day. So we have fished and fished and fished. We have caught a ton of grouper. A lot of them were short. Some were even caught off camera. We could not get that fourth one to finish our limit, but we got two 31 inch gags in the box and a 28 if I remember correctly, which is good size grouper right there. That's gonna make a lot of fish sandwiches. I don't even know if you can see them. Got them packed on ice really good. Nope, but trust me, they're in there.
it is now next day we're in the kitchen we got the fish all cleaned up and by the way if you want to see how I clean my fish I clean them all pretty much the same check out another video on the channel right there so we've got us some grouper fillets uh, that's been soaking overnight basically chilled ice water just to keep them fresh I don't like my fish to sit more than a day or two in the refrigerator and the rest we went ahead and bagged up and put in the freezer so I'm going to show you one of the easiest meals there is to make but oh my goodness it's so good Tiffany requested it um, I can't remember if I've shown it on the channel before or not but let me show you how easy this meal right here is it's called Parmesan crusted baked grouper at least that's what I call it so you start out with a 9 by 13 baking dish I've already sprayed it with some olive oil spray you just want to put some nonstick spray in there and we're going to put our fillets right down on this and kind of build this concoction all right so no point in having the camera on my ugly mug let's just show the, uh, the pan here and what we're going to do so look at these absolutely beautiful grouper fillets that I have here we're just going to layer them down in this pan I find a 9 by 13 pan fits perfect for this plus as y'all can see we're not in a kitchen we're in my outdoor shop because well we live in a camper right now and we're building our house on our other YouTube channel so we cook in toaster ovens grills, black stones, whatever else. Okay, so as you can see, three grouper fillets filled this pan up perfect, along with a few extra pieces that I had. So now we'll take mayonnaise, and believe it or not, I hate mayonnaise, but it goes well in baking dishes like this. So all that we wanna do is actually coat the top of these fish, and mayonnaise has a lot of fat and oil in it, which works really well for a baking dish like this. All right, so a nice thin layer is all you need. You can uh, actually dump all the excess off like I just did. We're just wanting to use that for the fats, the oils for cooking, and to help things stick. All right, so I'm gonna start with canned crab meat. Nothing fancy about this dish at all. Actually, our local crab meat at the uh, fish market runs about $25 a pound. So it's very expensive to do this dish with fresh crab meat. Now, of course, by all means use it. It's just gonna taste even better but canned crab works very well on this. So we're just gonna spread this crab meat out over these fillets. Now you can see where the uh, mayonnaise really helps things stick. And I find that it takes about two cans of crab meat for a nine by 13 baking dish. And this is two different types of crab meat too, but it doesn't matter the flavor. It's all about that crab flavor. So good on top of this. All right, now once you get your crab meat on top, you can do this before or after, doesn't matter. It's time to do a little bit of seasoning. I like blackening season. That's perfect, or Creole seasoning if you want, but I find that Creole seasoning can be a bit salty. We're gonna add something else that has salt in it. So we'll add some blackening season for flavor right here. Now we had a viewer on our other channel send us some of this cow camp seasoning. This does have quite a bit of salt in it. It's garlic seasonal. We love garlic. You got to put garlic on here. So we might as well just use this since it has the salt that we also need for fish and the garlic we're looking forward to. All right, now we take grated Parmesan. This is what I typically always use in the meal. Obviously, the better the Parmesan cheese, if you want to use grated, um, is even better than this old chunky stuff right here in the green can. But this works so well for this dish. You can get this fancy, like I said, with real, you know, good fresh caught crab meat, fresh Parmesan, or you can keep it really simple like this. It still turns out so well. So I'm not going to go too crazy with there. A light dusting Parmesan over the fish, and then to top it all off, some panko breadcrumbs. This will give it a nice crispy top. All right, so now all that's left is to cover the top. And since I don't have a real oven, I have a toaster oven that's preheating to 375. I'll put this in there so your times are gonna vary, and it takes anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour. But the one thing I really like about a glass baking dish is you can see the meat of the fish. So what I do is watch the fish occasionally, and when I see those fillets turn white all the way through, which tells me they're cooked, I'll take this tin full top off, run it under the broiler for just a few minutes in that toaster oven to crisp up that cheese and those panko breadcrumbs 
then it's ready to serve. We like to serve it over an angel hair pasta or a type of noodle. Mm, so good. All right, so here we go. I might have left it in just a little too long under the broiler. That's okay. That cheese and what you're mainly seeing is all that blackening season coming through. It's actually got a nice crispy crust. The fish is not overcooked. I have a little side salad tonight. And what I typically do with this meal is melt some butter down, minced garlic, and pour that over the top. But we're trying to be a little healthier here lately, so we're going to avoid that step. But it's so good. Try that. We decided to do a little bit of an Alfredo noodle tonight. It really doesn't matter. Just put it over a bed of angel hair pasta or Alfredo noodles like this. Let me show you this right here. Look at that white grouper right there. Steam coming off of it. You got the breadcrumbs up top, the Parmesan cheese, all the seasonings. It is so good. Let me say a quick blessing. We'll enjoy this. Ooh, uh -huh. I think that's perfect. I can taste all the crab. That's also what you're seeing right there coming through. I taste a lot of the crab. The blackening season's perfect. I love this brand of blackening season that we're getting now. It's not salty, it's not hot, but it gives you that flavor you're looking for. This is such a great meal. So easy, especially if you use all the canned ingredients from the crab to the cheese, and it'll make you look like you know what you're doing. I suggest you try this. Thank y'all so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode.